Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is your band and for today's lesson we have Lost in Paris by Tom Mitch. Sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro and the very first chorus in the song. Here, we're playing in the key of E. And we're going to start the song, so the intro playing the two chords. Accord voicing of F sharp minor 9. A rootless voicing. On my left, I'm playing E, G sharp, and A. And for the right, I'm playing one note. That's C sharp, played with my thumb. So, F sharp, minor 9. Then next, I'm going to play C sharp, minor 11. That's C-sharp and F-sharp on the left. And for the right, B, D-sharp and F-sharp. After this one, I'm going to go back to the two chord and play F-sharp major this time. So one note on the left, that's F sharp, playing the major third and the fifth on my right, A sharp and C sharp. And following that, I'm going to play another rootless voicing, B11. E and A for the left. C sharp and E for the right. Okay, then from here I'm going to go back up on the top of the progression and replay F sharp minor 9. Same voicing. Then C sharp minor 11. F sharp major and from here I'm going to change the progression and play A sharp minor 11 playing a rootless voicing again one note on the left G sharp two notes for the right natural C and D sharp up, we're playing B11, the rootless voicing, then still going up, C sharp minor 11 again, same voicing as before, C sharp and F sharp, B, D sharp and F sharp, now going up a whole step, playing D sharp minor 11, D sharp and G sharp, C sharp, F and G sharp, and finally ending the progression for this intro playing B over F sharp. Once again, that's a rootless voicing. So simply play D sharp, F sharp, and B on your right hand.
And that's all for this intro, okay? From the top, F sharp minor 9, bootless voicing, C sharp minor 11, F sharp major, then B11. Then repeat, F sharp minor 9, C sharp minor 11, F sharp, A sharp minor 11, Voicing B11, C sharp minor 11, D sharp minor 11, and finally F sharp over B. Now, rhythmically, the pattern is the following. I'm going to play one chord on the first beat of the measure, for example here F sharp minor 9, and the following one, so C sharp minor 11, on the A of the second beat. So that's playing in 16th notes. 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and So on the A of the second. 1 E and 2 E and Okay, so F sharp minor 9, first beat, on the R of the second, C sharp minor 11. Then following that, F sharp, major on the first beat, and then B11 on the R of the second. 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and. 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and. Okay, then we're going to repeat that. So F sharp minor 9. 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and. Now coming up, we have a lot of chords played in a short time frame. So from now on, I'm going to only count the downbeat. 3. Four, one, two, three, four. Once again, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, from the top, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's for the intro. One more time. Three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, on top of those chords, we're going to add this to the playing. Three, four. So first time playing the progression, I played F sharp minor 9, followed by two notes, G sharp and F sharp on my right hand. Using my pinky on G sharp and my fourth finger on F sharp. And then I played my C sharp minor 11 chord. And 
now before landing on my F sharp major chord, I'm going to play this one on my right hand. That's B, pinky, G sharp, third finger, F sharp, second finger, D sharp, the thumb, then C sharp, second finger, ending on B with the thumb again. Following this F sharp major, I'm going to play this. So simply F sharp major first inversion, so that's A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Thumb, second finger, and pinky. Then I'm going to replay my A sharp and C sharp alone without the F sharp on top. And then land on B11. F sharp, simply like this, on the top, And after playing B11, you have one last melody line, starting on E, then F sharp, G sharp, B, and C sharp. That's finger one, two, three, four, and five. Here it is again. And then after that, we're going to repeat. Then we have F sharp. And remember, from here, we're going to change the progression and play those chords. And then end the intro playing on that B over F sharp. Okay, from the very beginning of the intro, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One last time for the intro. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, we're on to the first chorus, and pretty much we're going to keep the same pattern as the intro. So we're going to play this. 
Let's stop here for the very first part of the chorus. I replayed the same chord progression and pattern, so F sharp minor 9, C sharp minor 11, F sharp major, then B11, and once again. F sharp minor 9, C sharp minor 11, F sharp major, and from here I'm going to change the progression. I played F sharp major, then A sharp minor 11, okay, G sharp C, D sharp, B 11, going to end that first part of the chorus simply playing this. I'm playing A on my left, one note, C on my right and D sharp. And that chord is also a woodless voicing of B, of B7 flat 9. That's how we're going to end the first part of the chorus. One more time. Now here's the second part. So we simply replayed the pattern F sharp minor 9. C sharp minor 11, F sharp major, then B11, F sharp minor 9 again, C sharp minor 11, but then ending the first chorus, we're going to stop here on that B and then play nothing until we start the first verse. Here it is again, second part for the chorus. Now, here's the entire chorus, slow tempo, three, four, Alright, we're now ready to recap and replay the intro and the very first chorus at full speed. Thank you. 
And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicwitness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Urban.